In today's video, I am going to show you how to create a CRT TV effect in Premiere Pro, as you can see on the screen. We can achieve a convincing CRT TV effect in Premiere Pro by combining a few built-in effects. So, let's get started. All right, now we are inside Premiere Pro. As you can see on the timeline, I have got a stock video clip. Now, we have to apply some Premiere Pro built-in effects to achieve a CRT TV effect. Firstly, from the project panel, we have to create an adjustment layer, and then click on OK. After that, let's drag and drop the adjustment layer to the timeline in Video Layer 2. Next, move over to the Effects panel to apply an effect. This is a mosaic effect. Let's drag and drop the mosaic effect to the adjustment layer. Again, I'm going to apply another effect. This is a grid effect. Let's drag and drop the grid effect to the adjustment layer. And then, let's move over to the Effect Controls panel to customize the effects. From the mosaic effect, let's make the horizontal block's value around 385. After that, we have to make the vertical block's value around 385. Next, let's turn on the box of the Sharp Colors parameter. And then, let's customize the grid effect. Firstly, from the color parameter, let's select the black color. And then, from the blending mode parameter, we have to select overlay. After that, let's make the X anchor point parameter value around negative six. And then, we have to make the Y anchor point parameter value around 500. Now, you can see the changes on the program monitor. In the next step, we have to select the width and height sliders from the size parameter. And then, let's make the width parameter value around 3,985. After that, we have to make the height parameter value around 7.5. Now, you can see the changes on the program monitor. All right, let's hide all the parameters of the grid effect and the mosaic effect for convenience. In the next step, let's move over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a Gaussian blur effect. Let's drag and drop the Gaussian blur effect to the adjustment layer. Again, I'm going to apply another effect. This is a lens distortion effect. Let's drag and drop the lens distortion effect to the adjustment layer. And then let's move over to the effect controls panel to customize the effects. From the Gaussian blur effect, let's make the blurriness value around 2.3. And then let's customize the lens distortion effect. Firstly, we have to make the curvature parameter value around 44. And then, we have to select black color for the fill color parameter. Now you can see the changes on the program monitor. All right, let's hide all the parameters of the lens distortion effect and the Gaussian blur effect for convenience. In the next step, let's go to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a transform effect. Let's drag and drop the transform effect to the adjustment layer. Again, I am going to apply another effect. This is a Lumetri color effect. Let's drag and drop the Lumetri color effect to the adjustment layer. And then let's go to the effect controls panel to customize the effects. From the transform effect, let's make the scale parameter value around 145.5. And then from the Lumetri color effect, let's open the basic correction panel. Firstly, let's make the temperature parameter value around 27.5. And then, let's make the tint parameter value around negative 6.4. After that, we have to make the saturation parameter value around 84.7. Next, let's make the highlights parameter value around 86. And lastly, we have to make the whites parameter value around 44. All right, now we are done. Our CTR TV effect creation is complete. In this way, you can easily create a CTRTV effect in Premiere Pro. Let's preview. By following these steps, you can effectively add a nostalgic CRTTV look to your videos in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment. 